Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, including some comments from Adele that sparked debates online when she took a dig at the streaming era of music that looks to have devalued music in general, since only a few artists can still do it like before the streaming era. And this sparked debates for obvious reasons that soon caught the attention of Eminem fans on Twitter. We also have more on the long-awaited Kendrick Lamar album, and according to previous rumors, it was meant to kick off the aftermath takeover. First Kendrick, then Eminem, and then Dr. To Dre, all expected to drop albums before the Super Bowl, and a source recently gave us an update on why Kendrick is yet to drop and also the expected release window, more on this in a bit. In the wake of the Travis Scott event that got out of hand at the Astroworld Fest, many examples of crowd control have surfaced online, and one clip recently sparked discussions on Reddit where Eminem and Proof set an example. And before we dive into the details, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at Etalife style on the score web. So we'll start with the update on Kendrick Lamar, and this probably explains why it's been years since his last studio album. Perhaps we have another Lil Wayne slash Birdman situation on our hands. Check it out from the source that reported. Kendrick's delay stems from legal issues with former label TDE. Distributor still has it slated for Q4, though, so this remains in line with previous rumors of a release window between October and December. But there was more from the source. Also heard the album is done, but TDE claimed to own a select number of tracks and wants royalties, but this info isn't as reliable as the original tweet. Too few sources and sounds like speculation, so the source is quite confident the delay is due to legal issues with TDE though it's still slated for Q4 2021, and he has an exchange on Reddit on this, as some are wondering. Not sure how it works, does legal dispute mean lawsuits have been filed? If so, wouldn't they be public? Not a lawyer, so I have no idea. And the user responds, legal disputes in this case would be more along the lines of, in quotes, we won't allow you to drop this until X, Y, and Z is resolved. And then if it somehow drops, then lawsuits happen and then we get public documentation and etc. Plus, if it were to drop, there's little reason to believe that TDE won't block it from streaming, ruining sales, blah blah blah, just bad news all around. And for some, this is no surprise. Honestly think he's been trying to leave since 2019 or early 2020. But what do you guys think? Sounds like some Carter 5-ish, one user concluded. Moving on to the next point, there's been a lot of debate surrounding the streaming era of music, and Adele sparked the latest thanks to a Q interview that led to reports. Adele says she and Drake are a dying breed in music, and you'll probably never see another artist accomplish what they've been able to accomplish, mostly due to the fact that they both came up pre-streaming. We're, we're, we're a dying breed. And it must be... I wasn't going to say that. We are a dying breed. I don't think there's ever going to be... No. There was like 10 of us. You know, I don't think there'll ever be that many of us again at the top doing it the way we were doing it. Everything kind of just... just well, it's just so... Yeah. It, we, were, we came out when people... Before streaming. We came out before streaming. We yeah. came out before all, all the social media frenzies of, of like, you know, you've got five seconds to entertain, otherwise get out. Yeah. Now, she said there's like 10 doing it, like before, not just her and Drake. But her take has sparked split reactions. Some believe how narcissistic is that, but on the other end, some say she's right. Streaming really shifted the focus on albums to singles, and fame through singles versus albums is comparably short term. This is true, and is why artists can chart all tracks from an entire album on the Hot 100 singles chart in the United States today but still fail to move platinum album numbers and some wonder why she mentioned Drake. This is an interesting take considering Drake survives off streaming. And more on Drake, girl, we all know Drake don't sell and his career is carried by streams he gets and he's local. Sheesh. But a user sheds more light on this. Views did 850,000 pure, he was a force before streaming, he just adapted the best to it. The keywords, he just adapted the best to it. He's adapted so good that he can barely sell pure right now, but Adele still got balance. She just moved over 500,000 in three days, pure sales. But overall, Adele is right, and her comments have also sparked branching debates too, as the revisionists are back at it again, with popular posts like, these are all the artists who dominated charts and radio before streaming and after streaming. If your fave ain't in here, they were carried by streaming. And this led to takes along these lines. I love how the best-selling artist of the 21st century is not here. And some came prepared. Y'all can't erase Eminem, no matter how hard you try. He was number one in sales 2000 to 2009. Number one male, pure, 2010 to 2019. And fourth overall artist, sales plus streams, USA. Globally, Sales Plus Streams is number one this century. His last three album drops placed him at fifth, 
5th and 6th, he excels in sales plus streams still. Eminem is literally the best example for decades of successful transitions in the industry, from cassette CDs, ringtones, remember those, digital downloads slash iTunes, and now streaming. In this picture, he sold more pure albums than anyone, and only Drake has outstreamed him on platforms like Spotify, while Eminem still has a huge lead on platforms like YouTube. But what do you guys think of Adele's comments? Moving on, a clip surfaced that showed Eminem and Proof handle the crowd rush in 2002. Stop it, man, stop it. Y'all gotta cop it. Hey, yo. Y'all gotta quit pushing towards the front or we cannot perform. I got police telling me that the show is canceled if y'all don't stop pushing towards the front. You guys gotta calm the down so we can do the show. Hey, yo, if you got somebody on the ground in front of you, help them up. Help them up off the ground because we cannot continue the show. I'm telling you right now, they're not going to let us continue the show if y'all don't back up. I'm just as hype as you are. And this walk reactions like real pro ish respect. You're there to entertain, but you gotta use your platform to keep the crowd safe. Alluding to what happened recently at Astro World Fest, and it had to be said. Some artists, hey guys, we gotta spread out a bit and stay safe. Eminem, yo, I'm just as hyped as y'all, but y'all need to back the F up. Right now, reports reveal Travis Scott, Drake, Apple, and Live Nation face a new $2 billion asteroid lawsuit. And spoiler alert, when it's all said and done, sadly, the lawyers will be the real winners. That's enough for today. Save your thoughts for the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.